first video in our new series called SAT Math Core Concepts. This series will teach you essential math concepts that will help you maximize your SAT score. In this video, we'll be going over manipulating quadratic and exponential equations. Let's get started. Question number one. The hang time of a football is the amount of time the football stays in the air after being kicked. The height in meters of the football above the ground at time t can be modeled by the quadratic function h of t is equal to negative 4.9 t squared plus 19.6 t. Which of the following equivalent expressions displays the hang time of the football as a constant or coefficient? Basically what this uh, problem is asking us to do is to solve the equation uh, negative 4.9 t squared plus 19.6 t so that it's in a form where we can find um, the solutions for t. And one way uh, we can do this is by factoring the equation. We can, um, we can see that both these terms, negative 4.9t squared and 19.6t, have a t variable in common. So we can factor that out. And we can also factor out the constant negative 4.9 out of um, the two terms. So when we do that, we get negative uh, 4.9t when we divide um, and, and when we do that, we get t minus 19.6 uh, t min uh, divided by negative 4.9 t would be uh, negative 4. So uh, our, uh, the equation, uh, the factored equation would be negative 4.9 t uh, times t minus 4. And this is answer choice b. Question number two. The break-even point for a company is the number of units sold other than zero units for which uh, revenue minus costs uh, equals zero. Production is profitable only when revenue is greater than cost. The monthly profit of a company selling x units is given by the quadratic function. P of x is equal to negative one over 200 x squared plus 30 x. Which of the following equivalent expressions displays the break-even point as a constant or coefficient? Like the previous question, this question is also asking us um, to solve the equation here and find solutions for uh, x. And also like the previous question, we can factor out, uh, we can uh, factor to find the solution for this equation. Um, we can factor out the negative one over 200 and uh, an x since uh, they're common in both terms. So negative one over 200 x when we factor that out, we get x minus uh, 6,000. This is answer choice D. Question number three. The height h in feet of a baseball t seconds after Tobin hit it with a baseball bat can be modeled by the equation below. h of t is equal to negative 16t squared plus 64t plus 4. Which of the following equivalent expressions displays the value of the baseball's maximum height as a constant or coefficient? Unlike the previous two questions, we can't uh, solve this equation by uh, factoring. Uh, we need to turn this into a, uh, this equation into its vertex form. And to do this, we need to do, uh, use the completing the square technique. So our first step in using it would be to factor out the negative 16 from negative 16t squared and 64t. So negative 16 t squared minus 4 t plus 4. And so in the, and now that we factor out the negative 16, we can uh, use it completing the square. Negative 16 t squared minus 4 t plus. And to do that, we need to divide the b term right here by 2 and square it. And when we do that, we get negative 4 divided by 2, which is negative 2, squared is 4, plus 4. And uh, remember that we also need to add the product of negative 16 and 4 to both sides in order to cancel out um, the addition we just made right here. So we need to add negative 64 to the other side, which equals 
h of t um, minus 64 and uh, we need when we move this to the other side we get h of t is equal to negative 16 t squared minus 4 t plus 4 plus 68 now uh, we need to factor this right here negative 16 uh, when we factor this equation we get t minus 2 times t minus 2 plus 68 and this is simply negative 16 t minus 2 squared plus 68 and this is answer choice a